My talk is about on the complexity of arithmetic cycle theory. This is a joint work with Ronald Kramer and Xing Chao Ping. Here is the outline of my talk. First, I want to introduce some background of arithmetic cycle sharing scheme, and then I will give our new construction of arithmetic cycle sharing scheme. At the end, I will give some concluding remarks, also pose some open problems. So first, what is cycle sharing scheme? Uh, uh, I just give some narrow sense of sequential scheme just for our convenience so a sequential scheme is just a share sequel s among n parties and with this following requirement first it, uh, it has t privacy which means that any t parties learn nothing about sequel s also a reconstru r reconstruction which means any r parties can completely recover s so a sequential scheme we just require that it has t privacy and the r reconstruction uh, so there's a very famous Shamir sequential scheme, which can realize the sequential scheme we mentioned in our previous slide. So yeah, what is Shamir sequential scheme? Uh, so assume that we have a circuit S, uh, we just pick a random degree T polynomial fx with f0 equals S. So each party pi will receive a share f alpha i. Alpha, I, alpha 1 to the alpha n are n distinct elements, also non zero. Uh, so we can show that uh, this uh, this sequential scheme has t privacy and t plus one reconstruction, and due to this uh, Lagrange inter interpolation. Uh, yeah, let's, let us go a little beyond the sequential scheme, and we want a sequential scheme to be linear. We call it a linear sequential scheme. A sequential scheme has a a sequent space q to the l and a, a, a shared space f q, and there are n parties. So this sequential scheme has a sharing scheme, which uh, given a S sequit as an input, and it will generate N shares, S1 to the SN. And so it, this sequential scheme has T privacy, therefore SI, and also any T shares SI implies nothing about the sequit S. So also our reconstruction, which means that any R shares of the parties, when well, this uh, reconstruction scheme will recover the sequit S from any R shares. And besides this uh, sequential normal definition of sequential scheme, and it also has another property which called the linear degree. So we assume that we have two vectors belong to this sequential scheme, and uh, so the circuit is x and y, the linear combination of this circuit x plus lambda y, uh, which can be recovered from the linear combination of the shares x1 plus lambda y1 to the xn plus lambda yn. So for this, uh, this linearity, if a sequential scheme has this FQ linearity, we call it a linear sequential scheme. Okay, so let's go a little beyond the linear sequential scheme. We want a sequential scheme to be to have multiplicative property. We call it arithmetic sequential scheme. Uh, it, the formal definition is that a sigma is said to be C strongly multiplicative. First, uh, it has T privacy, and then the reconstruction is even more strict. Restrict. It's more strict. Because so we don't need, we don't we don't need, we don't require the reconstruction. We also require the product of reconstruction, which means that uh, if we have two vectors belong to this sequential scheme, and uh, so the component wise product of the circuit x y can be recovered from the con the product of the shares, but not all shares, but n minus t shares. So so if the sequential if a sequential scheme satisfy these two properties, and of course it also should be linear, then we call it a T-strongly multiplicative linear arithmetic sequential scheme. So also sigma it is said to be asymptotically good if, and uh, if a Q is fixed, and N over T, a T over N, and L over N are positive constant. So we want T and L are linear in N, and the Q is fixed. So when N goes to infinite, and it's yeah, it's, it's, it's still be a positive constant that we call it asymptotically good sequential scheme, which we borrow this uh, concept from the coding theory. So if a code is called to be, is said to be asymptotically good code, then the, the, the relative distance and the rate of the code are constant, a positive constant, when the length of the code goes to infinite. Okay, so there are now some non count results. And uh, we know that there exists construction of asymptotic good T strongly multiplicity or smack sequential scheme over any fixed finite field. And this construction is derived from algebraic geometry code, also it's not uh, very elementary. So you have to know a lot of things about algebraic geometry code so as to construct this code, this is a sequential scheme. 
and also the share and the recontract scheme are efficient because they both of them run in polynomial time. And also, yeah, it, but it's not a linear time, and it's uh, at least a quadratic time, uh, which because uh, which is due to the encoding and decoding algorithm of algebraic geometry code. So also there is a big gap in the number of parties, and also this gap. Well, why do we have this gap? Because our sequential scheme and because we, the sequential scheme is asymptotic good, which means that we have a family of sequential scheme on n parties. So the part n goes to infinite, which gives you a family of sequential scheme. And this each family, uh, each sequential scheme, and in the each adjacent sequential scheme, the, there's a jump on the number of parties. So this jump is uh, linear in n. Also, uh, also sometimes the jump is very big. So it's due to the algebraic geometry code. So we cannot make it very small, and it's a, there must be a big gap, which will cause the loss of performance in terms of the um, the privacy and the reconstruction. Hmm. Uh, and we know there are many applications. We just list I I I just listed some of them. So the first application is amortized complexity, communication complex of MPC protocol, and also there are yeah in MPC protocol most of, most of that we we require the sequential scheme to be multiplicative, and also yeah also we want it to be asymptotic good in some application. So do which will will uh, which will give the merit of uh, amortizing the communication complexity. The second application is the zero knowledge proof protocol, and so uh, for example MPC in the head. So the second application, uh, the third application is a positive rate uh, ability transfer from noise channel. So there are also ex extra, extra, extra. There are lots of other applications. Yeah, we just mentioned some of them. Okay, so let's introduce our new approach. Uh, yeah, here uh, we also construct a new uh, construct uh, um, asymptotic good t strongly multiplicity arithmetic sequential scheme. It's over any finite finite field. It can over any fixed finite field. Our sharing and reconstruction schemes run in quasi linear time instead of uh, previous scheme. They will they have to run in at least a quadratic time. The gap in the in our new scheme uh, is negligible. So, and so the third merit is that the construction only relies on the existence of asymptotic good algebraic geometry code instead of its algebraic structure. And to be more precise, precisely, uh, actually our construction only relies on the existence of uh, Multiple good multiplicative code, or maybe a good uh, asymptotic good uh, arithmetic sequential scheme. Uh, yeah, if this scheme exists, then we can find it very efficiently. So this is the assumption we need, but uh, we don't need uh, assumptions that uh, yeah we have to know the structure of this code, and so that we have to know the encoding and decoding algorithm. Actually, we have we don't need to know any of it. So. Yeah, this is also another good thing in our, for in our construction. Okay, so there are three building blocks in our construction. First, we need a variant of Shamir sequential scheme uh, with sequence space of a large field, and so different from the normal Shamir sequential scheme. The sequence and the share are over the same field, and with in, in our construction, you, we require that they are over different field. The concatenation of two arithmetic sequential scheme gives rise to a new arithmetic sequential scheme. So the concatenation idea of arithmetic sequential scheme, uh, yeah, it's it's the uh, it's so far as we, as we know, we introduced this concatenation scheme, and this is the first time the concatenation scheme, the concatenation idea from the coding theory, are uh, introduced to the arithmetic sequential scheme. So also uh, the also the third block is the uh, a reverse multiplication friend embedding, which you can split sequence over big field to a sequence in some small field, but uh, uh, with uh, I mean with a big dimension. So on uh, this on this IMFE, we are keeping the multiplication property. So these are basically two three building blocks that we need in our construction. So first, we will introduce uh, this variant of a Shamir sequential scheme. So what is this variant of Shamir sequential scheme? And we have a separate space Q to the L and a shared space Q. So later we we need uh, two uh, a gamma with which is a prim primitive element in a big field FQ to the L and also alpha one to the alpha n which is a element in FQ FQ and also they are distinct. The sharing scheme is uh, 
just giving a sequence S of a big field, which pick a random polynomial F of degree A R plus T, so that F gamma equals S, because gamma and S, they are defined over the same field, so we can do that. And uh, so we, the, the, the share is F alpha one to the F alpha n, and the, the, so the reconstruction scheme is run as follows, yeah. We can use the uh, Lagrange interpolation and the with the so so to recover fx. Once we recover fx, we are, of course we know f gamma and we know the sacred s. This scheme is also t strongly multiplicity. Therefore, s three t plus two l is less than n. So this is the first building block of our scheme, and the second building block is the concatenation. So we, we, we just introduced the concatenation of linear sequential scheme. So we have two linear sequential schemes, sigma one and the sigma two. And the sigma one is uh, defined over um, sequence space is uh, over the big field, fq to the l, and uh, the and the shell space fq. And the, the, the second scheme and the, the sequence space is fq, which is the shell space of the first uh, scheme. And the, the sequence space, uh, shell space of the second scheme is fq, q is, uh, fq is small q. So, so the concatenation of these two schemes is uh, yeah, just like this. And uh, so for each share of sigma one, we use sigma two to reshare the share. So we, we treat each share of sigma one as a separate and they use the six sigma two to separate share the share. So this is the idea of this section scheme. And then we can show that the sigma sigma is a t1 plus a t1 t2 that strongly multiplicative. If sigma one is t1 multiple strongly multiplicative, and then sigma two is t2 multiple strongly multiplicative. Also, sigma one is has sequence space fq to the l and the share space fq and the of mn parties on and it can share the circuit on mn parties. And uh, yeah, in fact, uh, we can also set m is uh, log o log n and q is o log t. So that means m and q are very small compared to n and q, big q. The third building block is uh, a reverse multiplication friendly embedding. Uh, RMFE actually it consists of uh, a pair of maps phi and psi. So that phi is uh, just uh, maps from a uh, a, a vector space uh, to a to a field, and the size is uh, from a field to a vector space. Actually, they, <laughs> they, they just uh, and so the combination of these uh, two maps will maps a vector space back to itself, and uh, we also require that these two maps are linear maps, FQ linear maps, and uh, and so this uh, in the following condition, X uh, satisfies and X uh, the component product wise of x, y uh, equals, and uh, first uh, we just map x to uh, from a vector space to a field, and uh, then, sorry, then, and uh, we have, we just also map the y in the same manner, and uh, so phi x and phi y just are two elements in a big field, and uh, the product of these two elements also in this big field, and uh, then we make it, map it back to a vector space. So um, by doing this one, and uh, we yeah, so so we call it, uh, so we, we so this a pair of maps uh, satisfy this property, and uh, this we will use it to to split the circuit. So the circuit uh, once the circuit the big the circuit in a big field, the product of a circuit in a big field will be split into a, a multiple circuit. Each circuit is in a small field, and the component wise of the circuit in a small field, just like here x times y. We are, which will implies a circuit in a big field by x times by y. So this is basically what we need for for our um our smack sequential scheme construction. Uh, so this IMFE can be constructed in quasi linear time. So we then we can put everything together. So the first step is that we you, we concatenate concatenate two sequential sequential scheme which give our smack sequential scheme. And this arithmetic section scheme has a very big field. A circuit is, is over a very big field, FQ to the L, and the shell space is over a very small field, is FQ. And so, and we also need a third strongly multiplicative arithmetic sequential scheme, which is asymptotically good. It, compared to this Chamber sequential scheme, they are not asymptotic good. But and the good thing is that for this, uh, the third sequential scheme, and uh, we, we the sequence space is over FQ, the shell space is over F log q, log q is very, very small, log q is a log log 
capital or uh, capital Q, which means that uh, uh, yeah, we can find it in in a very in only linear time in big Q. So this uh, is a semi and also it's guaranteed by algebraic geometry code. So this is a good thing. And then we know the existence of this code and then we just look for this code. And the, the search space is very, very small. So we can do it in linear time, almost linear in linear time. And so step three is uh, we can concatenate sigma one with sigma two, which gives our uh, asymptotic good strongly multiplied with arithmetic sequential scheme. And the sequence space is uh, Q to the L is uh, very big. And the shell space is uh, F log Q is uh, very small. And so because the sequence space is a very big field, uh, we apply the IMFE to the sequence space FQ to L so that you up, up, uh, obtain a sequence space and over log F log Q, but uh, the dimension E is uh, linear, is uh, omega MN, which means that it's linear in MN. So this is what, uh, what is required for this asymptotic good uh, arithmetic sequential scheme. So we then, then we have done, we've done. Okay, so let's give some concluding remark. Uh, so in this work, we present an asymptotic good strongly multiplicity arithmetic sequential scheme. And this scheme, this new scheme, and you can share and reconstruct the circuit in quasi linear time and also can be efficiently constructed without knowing the structure of algebraic geometry code because they will only search for the, this code instead of using the algebraic structure of this code. So the, the search, because the search space is very small, so we can do it very efficiently. So we don't need to know any structure or any, any structure of this code. So this is a good thing. Also can share a circuit among any number of parties without loss of its performance. That means that we have a very small gap. The gap is very small, so we can do it. Okay, so there are some, some open problems we might explore in the future. So first problem is that, can we make this arithmetic section scheme linear time? Uh, so currently the bottleneck of this uh, of our scheme is uh, the encoding and decoding of uh, ice code, because uh, ice code can only be encoding and decoded, encoded and decoded in quasi linear time. If we replace, we can replace cycle with some other code, which is also multiplicative and also running linear time. Yeah, we can do that, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very challenging. So we don't know if we can do that. Also the second open problem is that can we completely get rid of algebraic geometry codes in the arithmetic sequential scheme? And for example, we, we just want to, yeah, we just want uh, an elementary construction of arithmetic sequential scheme. So we don't know if there exists a good, asymptotically good algebraic geometry codes or asymptotically good multiplicative code. We don't know existence of this code or we don't realize on any existence of this code. We just, yeah, we just constructed it from scratch. Is that possible? Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, we don't know that, uh, but it's worth exploring. Thank you for your attention.